So would you like to fix the actual issue on the Shopify store? I'm going to show you how to get started. The very first thing you want to do is to identify the problem. So let's identify the issues, the common issues that can help us to solve these problems which you wanted to solve these uh, checkout on Shopify. So first of all, what I need to do is to check out the common problems. For example, the abandoned cards, the payment failures, the slow uh, loading times. So let's make a quick diagnose of the issues. The very first thing I wanted to do is to check abandoned card reports. If I go directly here into my Shopify, here I wanted to focus into the average Twitter panel, focused only to the home section. Inside this home section, I wanted to focus into the left part that says orders. Inside orders, you can focus into more actions and look out for uh, the analytics bar. So you can check out for these sections that says abandoned cards. So you can check out to see if there's a pattern here. Now the second thing is to analyze the payment getaways error. Now let's go and focus for any error messages related to the payment getaways in order section of through notifications. If you don't see like a bar here uh, in green or in yellow or red, this might be saying that we're actually good to go. But let's focus inside this order section once again. And if you don't see any issue there, we are actually good to go. Now let's focus into the test, the checkout process. Now we can perform a test checkout to see if we can encounter any issues. So we can use different payment method and shipping options to cover all the bases. Usually I'm going to hit now into settings and focused inside payments. Usually there's a lot of getaways, for example, the Shopify payments and the PayPal that can be helping you to enable the actual new section that says test mode. So if you don't see it, what you can do is just to scroll all your way down and try to make the custom application customization so you can enable testing section. And if not, what you can do is to go directly inside the payment getaways. For example, if you're using Stripe, you can go into stripe.com. And here what you can do is to enable the testing mode. So each time you make one transaction, you can see what is the main common issue. Now, another solution that I can give you is to optimize your checkout settings. So once you have identified the problem, it's time to automize your checkout setting. What you can do is to enable the single page checkout. So if I go once again here into settings, what you want to do is to focus into checkout. And here what you wanted to do is to enable and customize the configuration of your customized checkout, the thank you section and the order status pages. If you hit into customize, you can see that here appeals the actual editor of Shopify. So what I can do is to change if necessary information to keep the process quick and easy. So for example, here is the contact. In this case, I don't have the logo of my store. So this is a really huge error. So I needed to add this quickly. You can find this directly into your images that you have just imported. Here it is. I'm going to hit down to done and ensure the mobile compatibility as well. So here into the upper side, you should see that we have the desktop. I'm going to change for mobile. So it took a little bit of time to make this changed. But now, as you can see, everything looks great. So make sure that the mobile actually looks great because this is how it should be appearing. And it's going to be really important, guys, to make sure it actually looks smooth, consistent and easy. Now that we have just verified that everything looks great, then what we can do is now to verify the payment getaway. So let's go and check the payment getaway into settings and let's go into payment into payments, let's focus inside the payment getaway. So make sure that this one appears as active. If this one appears as set up incomplete, well, that means that this one is the reason if abandoned cars or if something is not actually working. So make sure that you have just changed all of those elements before we can continue. And lastly, the shipping address options. So we can go into settings once again and go into shipping and delivery. Here, just make sure that the shipping zones and the rates are set up correctly and there are no gaps or any error messages here. As you can see, everything looks great so far, so we don't have to do absolutely anything in here, but totally depending on what is the actual situation for you. You, you might be seeing, of course, the offer multiple shipping options to provide a better array of shipping options, so that's totally depending on the country you're currently living. And lastly, you can improve the page speed. If you focus directly into this actual home section, you can see that we have these new elements of our website and it can be telling us how great my online store is coming. 
So what I can do is to optimize images and videos, I can compress images and videos, reduce load times without, I can limit the third party scripts, I can uh, have a built in speed tools and speed reports to identify and fix speed issues. For that, what I can do is to go into my online store. Here, let's focus into themes. And here into themes, you should see that we have the speed time reports. Everything should be looking as good, good, and good. So if you wanted to, let's say in haste more reports, what you can do is to follow the recommendations that Shopify has to offer to us. And well, guys, that is how we can just solve this actual issue for these checkout common issues in the Shopify store and ensure a smooth efficient process for your customers. Now, sometimes it might be something specific for different stores because all the stores are totally individual, authentic and unique. So to have further assistance, I love to always go here into the upper side and look out for the help center. Into the help center, I would love to chat to somebody that can help me to check out my store and figure out what are the actual issue to solve this issue because they do have access to all my actual new uh, stores, knowledge based data. So they can be helping us yes or yes with whatever issue we have commonly there. So with that being said, guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and share this video. If you want to stay uh, tuned to more only media for more valuable tips and tutorials, guys, hopefully this was very useful for you. Until next time.